Hi, I'm Sarah Lynn, the Product Marketing Manager for Cisco Meraki MV Smart Cameras. Sometimes bad things happen, and when they do, security cameras can play a critical role in the investigation of an incident. However, sometimes figuring out what happened or when can be quite a challenge. In this mini-demo, you will learn how easy it is to use motion search and motion recap to search for and identify footage of an event. You'll also see what options are available for sharing screenshots or video when needed. Now we had our own incident in our Meraki office last week. One of our MV gnomes went missing from the fifth floor seating area. Let's see if we can find out who took it. First, let's navigate to the camera covering that area, the fifth floor coffee bar. All right, so we think the incident happened around 3 p.m. So let's go back to video for that time. We can type in 3 p.m. Friday. Our employees said that they left the gnome in this little coffee table area, so let's select motion search, and we can drag a box over the seating couch area. Motion search results are returned as motion recap images. These are composite images built entirely in camera that summarize activity in a single frame. This makes it easy to take in a lot of information at once and saves a considerable amount of time compared to watching video. What would take 30 seconds to watch in video form can be understood in a fraction of a second with a glance. Now by looking through these motion recap images, we can start to narrow down the suspects. This gentleman in the black here looks like a possibility he sits down in front of the gnome, but we can clearly see that in the next video clip, the gnome is still present. Now in the rest of these images, we can see more people walking by, but the gnome is clearly still there. So let's look at the next set. All right, we see a couple more people sitting down, getting up, and then someone walking by to look at the gnome. In the next image, when the cleaning person walks by, the gnome is gone. If we go back to this image here, the last one, we can see that if someone walks by, comes around, looks at the gnome, and walks off. Now, this event actually took more than 30 seconds, so there are two motion recap images for it. We can navigate to the next image by clicking Next. Oh, and there we go. We see this individual clearly walked back from the coffee bar area by the couch, and it looks like snatched the gnome and walked off. So let's play the video to make sure that this is really what happened. We can click Play Video, and it pops up back up here. So we see the person comes into frame, they walk by, they pick up a glass, they turn and see the gnome, they look at it, but they don't touch it, and they walk back over here to probably get some water. So that was what is in that first image, and we saw all of that in half a second versus the 30 seconds or so it took to watch this video. And then they come back around, drinking some water, and well, we already know that they walk by, but let's make sure that they pick up that gnome. Looking around, no one's there, snatch the gnome, and then they're off. So we've actually caught our suspect. So now that we know what's happened, we have a few options for sharing this information. Now we can adjust the video by going back frames or back 10 seconds to try to get a good snapshot of this person when they're looking at the camera. Uh, once we do have a good image, we can click screenshot to take a screenshot of what we're actually seeing on camera. And this can be used for passing around for identification. Under the share option, we have the ability to share a link to this video so that someone else with dashboard access can review it. Or we can click export and use the sliders to select the time frame on here. Once we've selected the desired time frame, we can click export and we're done. At this point, the video would be pulled off the camera and uploaded to the cloud. From there, the video clip can be shared via a unique URL or downloaded as an MP4 to your device. Exported video clips are retained in the cloud for one year.